Hello and welcome back to Sumo Diecast. My name is Ron. Well, um, according to Mr. Jim Silva, I have com successfully completed the Silva Challenge. And for those of you who may not know, the Silva Challenge is where Jim boxed up some uh, items he chose, and from the items that he sent, I had 30 days to create a sci-fi vehicle of some sort. And I went a little beyond the one vehicle and actually created three. So in this video, we're gonna take a look at each vehicle a little more in depth. While I did not make a build video, uh, because <clears throat> I don't think anybody wanted to watch three hours of me building cars at one setting, uh, so we're just going to take each one individually and take a look at that and uh, explain what I did. So everybody please, stay tuned. All right, the first vehicle we're going to take a little more in-depth look at is uh, this food truck. Now, this build was inspired by uh, the Mel Brooks movie, Spaceballs. Now, unlike in Spaceballs, this is not the Eagle 5. I call this the Taco 1. And uh, this vehicle is uh, owned by and operated by the Galaxy Taco Company. And they fly around the galaxy providing the best tasting tacos you would ever find. Now, the wings and the engines came from the Learjet that was part of my little package that Jim sent. And uh, I did a little surgery on the body and managed to get the wings in there intact and added the engines which were farther back on the body of the Learjet and added them to the wings. The uh, three lights in the front are uh, 3D printed parts that Jim provided as are the four tanks uh, that are on top and the oil tank in the middle. Uh, each of those I added to the roof that I added after I did a little surgery. And the two propane tanks there on the back were also part of that package. So uh, I think it made a convincing looking taco truck. I had plans for some decals, but I really didn't have room anywhere on this for decals. So this is the Taco One. Let's uh, go ahead and go to the next vehicle, so stay tuned. All right, this uh, little number is a Hot Wheels Proto H24. And uh, on this model, I tore it down and uh, left the wheels intact, painted the base, and I went ahead and chromed out the wheels uh, so they looked a little less like Hot Wheels mainline wheels. And uh, the wings I added from the tail section of the Learjet. They are CA glued to the body. And the engine is a combination of parts, 3D printed parts. The uh, main body of the engine was uh, intact and I thought it looked an awful lot like a ramjet. And the uh, thruster there in the back is a cut down pipe that was then super glued and then I detailed out the rest of the casting and uh, of course weathered it up afterwards to make it look like it was uh, thoroughly thrashed a bit and it travels a lot. Uh, in the little story I sent Jim, I uh, told him this was uh, owned by a uh, woman named Marla and she was is one of the uh, Galactic Tacos favorite customers 
and follows them everywhere. So, <laughs> I had to come up with a backstory. So, anyway, uh, other than uh, spraying it, it's actually a color shift blue that doesn't do a lot of color shifting under all that weathering. And then hit a few chrome details just for fun and detailed the headlights and uh, the tail lights, but you really can't see them under all the weathering. All right, well, that is the H24 prototype. Uh, let's go ahead and we'll check out the third and final vehicle. Stay tuned. And here is the last vehicle. Uh, this one, I didn't strip it or repaint it. <clears throat> I kind of like the uh, World War II-esque uh, livery that was on it, the uh, silver paint with the uh, decals. It uh, kind of looked like a P-51 or something out of World War II. W what I did, I then took it apart, of course, and uh, I swapped the wheels for um, what I'm calling thrusters. And each of these thrusters are actually movable. They're made from uh, hubs from a set of uh, more kind of red, uh, real rider-esque <laughs> kind of wheels. And they are made from the bendy section of soda straws. I uh, super glued those, or CA glued them to the hubs and left them movable. And the, uh, uh, that way they can look like it's flying, or if you take away the little prop, they uh, can lay down and uh, be posed in whatever, direct, whatever configuration you want them posed in. Uh, I don't know how practical they would be as thrusters, but uh, to me, they make a, a fitting kind of uh, little package for this particular build. Can't get them all to go the right direction. There we go, that's close enough. And again, uh, the uh, parts, 3D printed parts, are the two tanks that are on top of the uh, body. The thrusters in the back are again made from cut down sections of pipe and the little uh, whatever unit that is, motor unit or whatever, uh, that is uh, just a random piece of scrap that I had laying around that I thought was convincing as some sort of a propulsion unit. So uh, this little car, it, uh, I, I just thought it looked so much like a, a rocket already, I'd turn it into one. So anyway, those are the three vehicles that I made. And as I said, I sent Jim the pictures on these and he replied with, he thought I did a fantastic job. So first of all, I'd like to thank Jim for asking me to be a part of the Silva Challenge. And uh, this was a challenge. <clears throat> I probably spent uh, a week and a half looking at these parts, putting them together in different ways. And then one evening I was watching Spaceballs and that's when uh, I got inspired. And the taco truck became, the, uh, became, or the food truck became the Taco One. And the, uh, rest of the vehicles these are just uh, customers that really love those tacos and follow them around the galaxy and uh, always uh, someplace that they can eat a taco <laughs> so anyway uh, stay tuned I've got some uh, glamour shots coming up but I hope you like this vi this video if you do please give me a thumbs up if you're not a subscriber, I hope you will. And when you subscribe, uh, please uh, ring the bell so you'll be notified of any future bills that are coming and share with your friends. I appreciate all of the uh, subscribers and viewers that watch my videos and uh, I hope you'll keep coming back for more. Well, I will see you in the next.